This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's all about this guitar today. This is a Faisley guitar. Specifically, it is the Faisley Sunset Series Tempest guitar in uh, a sky blue finish. Uh, if you've been following this series of videos I've been doing on these Faisley guitars, then you will have heard me say that uh, basically the, the chaps from Bax Music got in touch with me and said, um, we've got a couple of ranges of guitars um, coming out that are brand new. The uh, Sunset series and the Outlaw series and we'd really like you to review them. Can we send you them? So they did. No money has changed hands and as I've been saying I don't get to keep these guitars and I'm not getting paid to make these videos. So that is what I have been saying but I need to update you on that because this guitar is the um, the one of the Outlaw series guitars. It's the Outlaw Plus and I really really like this guitar so I thought yeah they're not getting this one back. <laughs> so I got in touch with Bax Music and said um, send me an invoice I want to pay for this because I want to keep it and they got back to me and said um, yeah we really like your reviews we like the way you uh, review the guitars in a fair unbiased and honest way so you can have that guitar on us so I guess I am getting paid to uh, make these videos in in a, in a small way but I can assure you that you know if you believe that every man has his price mine is significantly higher than a 150 pound telecaster copy um so there you go and can i just say as well that um i've always admired bentley automobiles i find them classy stylish and something to really aspire to if anyone's watching anyway uh back to this guitar yes as i said my opinions are my own and i'll tell you exactly what they are right after we've heard this guitar in a mix And just a little bit of housekeeping before we go any further. Uh, for that whole demo there, I was plugged into the Marshall DSL-1 combo. Most of the tones were from the Classic Gain channel with those settings, you know, the uh, that crunchy open G riff at the beginning and throughout, and the uh, strummy stuff and the, the slide parts, all on that channel, and just varying the uh, the guitar's volume control to control the amount of uh, amount of gain I was using. The, um, the two non-slide solos, I was still using the same 
amp but on the ultra gain channel with those settings so there you go and there is a full a full tab for that piece of music in both guitar pro and pdf formats along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself all of that is up on my patreon page there's the address and the link is in the description three dollars or two pound fifty a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these youtube videos a massive massive heartfelt thank you to everyone excuse me everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are linked down in the description so um i'll put also down in the description a link to the full spec for this guitar um but like the headline figures are you've got a basswood body uh you've got a roasted maple neck uh you've got a, a graph tech tusk nut um a regular telecaster style bridge pickup and a p90 uh three-way selector master volume and tone the bridge is a top loader bridge it's not through body stringing as you can see there's nothing going on around the back there um and yeah as i say if you're interested in more uh specific st uh, stats than that then uh, take a look at the link in the description which is not a sponsored link by the way it's just a link to uh, the, the the product page on the bax music website uh let's have a little bit of a look at the weights and measures for this guitar um you know just the readings that i've taken uh, you can see it has a nice light weight of 3.16 kilos and a nut width of 41.8 millimeters uh, as near as makes no difference a 42 millimeter nut um the pickup dc resistances are as you can see 5.57k on the bridge 9k for that uh, p90 in the neck position and in the middle it's a 3.49k and underneath that you can see the first and 12th fret neck profiles so that gives you an idea of um you know what's going on with this guitar in terms of you know how it feels and you know what it what it uh, what kind of tones it makes what you know what kind of tones it makes you've just heard it um out of the three guitars that Bax Music sent me, this uh, Tempest guitar and the uh, Outlaw Series uh, Coyote Basic and the Coyote Plus, the one that I'm keeping, uh, this was the best setup out of the box. Um, I had to lower the action a little bit, um, but I didn't have to do anything with the truss rod or anything like that. Um, and the other two guitars, the, the Coyote Plus was probably the one that needed the most setup work to get it dialed in how I like it. Um, even though, but even, you know, straight out of the box, all of them were eminently playable and, you know, you, you could, um, it, it's not going to be such a bad setup that, um, you know, the, the, a beginner who's likely to be buying a guitar in this price range is going to be uh, put off by it. It's just that you can, you know, there's plenty of scope to dial them in even uh, a little bit better. Um, you know, for instance, you know, when you get a, a, a cheap guitar where the action's a little bit high, it always makes you a bit suspicious that if I lower the action, is, are the frets going to buzz and choke off like, you know, like, like something... Um, possessed well no it's not um you know you, you can lower the action on these guitars and get a really lovely low slinky action as i've got on all three of them now and there's no fret buzz there's no choking the fret ends on all three guitars are absolutely um sublime really there's no other word for it there is not a a hint of fret sprout on either the bass or the treble side of the neck and as i have said before if um you know faisley can get a guitar out the door like this one for 113 pounds i think this costs without any fret buzz then there is no excuse for um you know more manufacturers of more expensive guitars to send guitars out with you know cheese grater frets i've played uh, made in mexico fenders that cost many times more than this guitar that have had that problem and there is no excuse for it uh, especially since the uh, the budget manufacturers can uh, be on top of all of that um it's a fun guitar to play this um i must admit you could probably see in that demo that i was having a whale of a time uh, playing it there and it's got some credible tones you know um th that um that bridge pickup on or the bridge pickup on this on that sort of open tuned uh, open g riff on that demo it absolutely nailed like a rick parfit status quo type tone which ironically i was going for more of a keith richards sort of tone on it but no nah, you know, i'll take i'll take what uh, comes but you know it really does 
kind of nail that sort of classic Telecaster blues rock kind of tone very very well and the the, the P90 well you heard the P90 on the uh, on the slide parts and part of that solo at the end uh, great sounding tones you know it's um this will be a great workhorse guitar for anybody who likes blues and blues rock and is you know on a budget and um you know likes telecasters basically um it's it's a it's the same sort of money as a squire bullet series guitar and for squire bullet money you're getting a roasted maple neck and a tusk nut um the tuners well, tuners really you only notice them when they are not doing their job, when they when they feel lumpy and um, you know they don't they don't hold tuning well or anything like that. The, the, these you just don't notice them. That you, you could upgrade them, but would you really need to? Well, you know, debatable to be honest with you. They do the job and they get on with it. Um, what are the negatives about this guitar then? Well, as I mentioned uh, in the unboxing video, I really don't see the point of this kind of dished area round the back here. Uh, people say, oh, well, it helps top fret access. No, it doesn't, because when you're reaching for the top frets, your hand is going there, and as you can see, turn it around like that, you know, this dished area here is nowhere near your hand. If you put your hand into that kind of area there, then, you know, then your fingers are kind of down here. It's I, I don't understand why manufacturers do it. It's the reason why uh, PRS, you know, dish out this side of the cutaway, not that side of the cutaway. Um, but it's unfair to um, to single out Faisley for for that kind of thing there because they're f far from the only manufacturer who uh, do that. Um, what else do am I not keen on with this guitar? <sighs> Top loader bridge. Um, you know, it's. I know there is some debate about whether um, the top loader versus the string through bridge makes any difference to the tone. I think it does, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, but not for perhaps any reason of you know how it makes the guitar sound it's how it makes you play or how it makes me play certainly um a string through bridge always kind of i find gives uh, tighter string tension and encourages you to play a telecaster the way it likes to be played which is with more gusto and vigor um it's that said if the only one of the only faults i can find out find about this guitar is that it's uh, a little bit too slinky and easy to play then you know file that under nice problem to have and finally you know the color i used to have a strap this color uh, but that was many many years ago and my tastes have changed over the years i prefer things with a, a more kind of wood grain woody finish um and solid colors with um you know increasingly i'm i'm kind of um i always say gloss uh, gloss finish on a guitar isn't a deal breaker and it isn't but i'm i am kind of edging more towards uh preferring satin these days and where it matters on the neck this does have on this roasted maple neck which has rolled fretboard edges by the way um where it matters it is a satin finish but i would like this guitar a lot more if uh, it was available in like um you know a, a natural or maybe a sunburst finish um or maybe a stained finish like uh, this one, the uh, the Outlaw Coyote Plus. So anyway, folks, there you go. Um, for £113, as I say, for roughly Squire bullet money, you can get a great sounding Telecaster style guitar uh, with a roasted maple neck and a tusk nut. What, I ask you, is not to like about that? Um, and that is my review of the Faisley Sunset Series Tempest guitar in sky blue. Make of it what you will. Uh, and that is the video for today. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it informative and entertaining in some small way. And if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget as always the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we have a beer and talk about music and guitars great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now